Hi guys! Today's video is a study with me video, and in this video I'll be taking notes for AP European history. In a previous video about how I take history notes, I've already explained the process, so I'll spare you from having me repeat that. Instead of explaining, for today's video I'll be answering some questions about stationery, and I asked for these questions on my Instagram, so if you'd like to participate in any future Q&As, be sure to check out my Instagram, which is linked in the description. A few people asked about why I talk about stationery because it doesn't matter for actually studying, and I agree that stationery really doesn't make a huge difference in how effective your studying is. I just like to talk about it because it's one of my interests, and it is kind of related to studying because I use these supplies while I am studying. While I do agree with the sentiment behind most of these comments, I don't appreciate how some of them seem to belittle the people who do like nice stationery. I feel like students as a community, we should not be trying to put each other down, we should be trying to lift each other up. I know that sounds really preachy, but you know what I mean. So the first question, which mild liner set is your favorite? My favorite is the Cool and Refined set since it has the purple and the gray, which are my two favorite colors. What are some stores where you can get good stationery but are still affordable? You can get good stationery at Daiso, which is a $1.50 store, and pretty much every store like Target, Walmart, Office Max, you can get good stationery at, you just need to know what to look for, and I plan to do some videos about the best of from those stores, so stay tuned for that. Another question, which pens don't bleed through pages? Generally, ballpoint pens bleed through the least, but I don't really like to use ballpoint pens because they don't offer a completely solid line. So if you don't want to use ballpoint, then gel pens are the next best option. Some gel pens that don't bleed through too much are the Zebra Sarasa or the Uniball Signal. The next question, could you recommend some black gel pens? So I've always mentioned the Pentel Energel in my previous videos, and I do still highly recommend that pen since it dries so quickly and it's really smooth, but I think I've been converted to the Zebra Sarasa as my new favorite. I would recommend the Zebra Sarasa in the 0.5mm size the most, and I also really recommend the Uniball Signo DX in the 0.38mm size, it just smudges more, so I don't recommend using it when you're highlighting. Should you store pens and markers upright or lying down? Generally, for pens and markers, you should store them vertically with the tip facing downwards. For some types of pens that are super inky, for example like fountain pens, you should store them horizontally, but for the casual user of pens who doesn't have those super fancy ones, it doesn't make a huge difference, but tip down is the best option. What are your favorite supplies for decorating spreads on your bullet journal? I really like to use the Tombow Dual Brush Pens and Zebra Mild Liners to add a color. Then I'll use a black pen. Recently I've been using the Pigma Micron. And I also use a black marker. Currently I use the Deleter Neo Pico Line 3 in the 2mm size. The next question is what paper do you recommend to use for brush pens? One really affordable option is the HP Premium Choice 32 pound laser jet paper, and I found out about this from the blog The Postman's Knock. I definitely recommend you check out the blog. What are some pens that dry quickly to prevent smudging? The pen I've seen that dries the fastest is the Zebra Sarasa Dry, but it's not that smooth, so I would recommend the Pentel Energel over that one because it also dries very quickly, but it's a lot more comfortable to use. Where do you get your stationery? I mostly get my stationery from jetpens.com. Not sponsored, I just really like them. I like them so much that I actually interned there, so that was pretty cool. I also occasionally buy from Amazon or Target. How do you organize your stationery? I don't have as much stationery as you might think, so it's actually pretty simple. By the way, let me know if you want to see an updated pen collection video. 
Anyways, first I have my pencil case where I keep the most essential items that I take with me to school every day. And I also have a pen cup on my desk. I also have a little box for refills and I keep that on my bookshelf. On the same section of the bookshelf, I have my empty notebooks and I have all of my Tombow dual brush pens. That's the only thing I have a full set of and it conveniently already comes with its own stand. If I didn't get to your question about what I recommend for certain categories, I have a favorites video and a page on my Tumblr about my recommendations for each category. I'll link those in the description, so be sure to check those out. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check the description for links to a lot of resources that I mentioned. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday and I post daily on my Tumblr and Instagram, which are linked in the description as well. See you next time!